Yeah, welcome to SEPAM today. We're looking at question five of the mathematics paper four extended February March 2023. Question five have to do with algebraic expression. And just like you have seen, so let's see this question five. We have this part of the question that says expand and simplify. So what do we do to solve this? this is just for two marks. So the first thing you have to do, take the first factor, which is the 2p square, use it to multiply the second bracket. And then next, you take this, use it to multiply the next bracket, and then you multiply it out. So if you do that, you have this expansion, then go further. You have that as your expansion. So to expand into this point, you have the first one mark. Then the next thing is your ability to be able to simplify negative 4 added to negative 9. We give that particular answer. So with that, we finish our expansion. All right, question 5b. We have given this expression s equals to half into u plus v multiplied by t. Find the value of x when u equals to 20, v equals to 30, and t equals to 7. So that is substitution into the formula. So if we substitute, we have where you have u, you put 20, where you have v, then replace it with 30, then t replace it with 7. For this successful substitution, you have the first one mark. Then you have to simplify the bracket first, add the bracket together. So that will give half into 50 multiplied by 7. And then that will become, that becomes 175. That is the next question. All right, the second part rearrange the formula to write v in terms of s u t so we have the formula so make v subject of formula so to do that the first thing we're going to do is multiply the expression both left and right hand side multiply through by 2 so that gives 2s equal to u plus v multiplied by t for that you have the first one mark out of the three mark then next divide both sides by t so that will become 2s divided by t equals to u plus v you have another one mark then to for us to make this sort of formula you subtract u from both sides so that will become this value so that is the last one mark and that is the answer to this question so question 5c factorize completely so the first one we have that so let's introduce bracket we have the bracket into the right hand side and the left hand side so if you introduce that bracket so we have because we have 2qt take away 3t t is common to both terms so you can bring it out then if you look at the the red part of the equation of the expression 2 is a factor of 4 and 2 is a factor of 6 so bring out 2 that will become 2q take away 3 take away 3 so with that factorization we can group it together so that will become 2q take away 3 because we have q common to both sides which is the common bracket then the multiplier the coefficient of each of the bracket will be put together to form one bracket in the red so you have t plus 2 so that is how you have the two mark according now let's go look at the other one s cube take away 25x s is common so s will come out so we have s square take away 25 s square take away 25 is difference of two square 
so that will become x into difference of 2 square s square take away 25 same thing as s take away 5 multiply x plus 5 so with that we finish off the factorization the 12th mark for this question 5 i know you are a student who want to succeed more questions will be solved and uploaded on the channel so to keep up to date please kindly subscribe and then comment and if you have any question on this just ask and i will make attempt to reply you thank you for watching